Hi there. Today we're going to learn how to make a support bra. I'm going to be using a polyester cotton fabric today. There are plenty of fabrics you can use to make a bra. Usually you want one that's stretchy to some extent. You don't want it so stretchy that it doesn't defy gravity because you need support. But you don't want it so stiff that it's uncomfortable. That's why I use polyester cotton fabric, which when you purchase it raw, it's not very stretchy. As you can see here on the dyed one, this is how it is. It's muslin fabric, polyester cotton. This is how it is normally, you know, when you buy it just raw. And then this is after I've dyed it. You'll see that the cotton fibers dye, get dyed in this case black, and the polyester fibers do not get dyed. So it gives an interesting sort of checkerboard effect. If you dye them in hot boiling water, like I usually do, what happens is the cotton fibers shrink. The polyester fibers do not. And then you get uh, this interesting stretchy material as well. It stretches this way. It doesn't stretch this way. It's stretchy, but not so stretchy that, that it doesn't give you support. That's why I like this. Sort of like a stretch denim. It reminds you of a stretch denim. It's, it's not denim at all, but it, it has the consistency of a stretch denim, except a lot thinner and lighter. You can see the line there, right here. Cut it just inside that line to cut that part off. I really prefer this way because, first of all, cotton polyester muslin is very inexpensive. So that's one side. And, of course, we're going to cut off the same on the other side. Start at the fullest part of your bust, where it starts at the top, and down through the middle to where it ends at the bottom. Okay. And then the side, start again, where the fullest part begins, across the middle to right there in between. I finished dyeing the fabric. It almost looks like a light blue jean fabric. Here are the cotton fibers. Over here, those are the polyester fibers. So I first take the long rectangle and fold it in half, right sides together, and then just sew along the long edge. I'm just going to trim this edge slightly and then turn this inside out like I've shown you in previous videos. I like the seam to be flat in the middle. Here's the seam. The seam goes down. Now take this and put it right on the edge on this side and this one right on the edge on this side. And we're going to sew this end and that end. So actually, what you're going to be doing from this point forward is you're going to be sculpting the bra onto yourself. Here I've done one already and I've used a different color thread so you could see. Whatever you do to one side, you do exactly the same to the other. Line everything up. And just line that up with that one.
this sort of soft rope. I like to use soft rope. So here, we're just going to encase it. Here, we're going to sew this in, and we're just going to encase this like this. You can fill the, you know, you can line the bra with one of these, which you can buy at the store, or if you have an old bra, you could just cut out the, the filling from the old bra. You can buy the sponge and cut it to the shape you want it to be. I don't use the underwire. I make sure I take that out because I think underwires are so uncomfortable. Uh, this is too loose, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten it here on the side seams. And then just sculpt it. You know, you, you will know your body better than anyone else. So you just got to experiment and sculpt and sew and try it on until you get the hang of it. Okay, so we've gotten this far. I've sewn that in there. Now, we still have to get the straps done. Now we have to figure out more or less how long we want the straps to be. So I measured everything to make sure everything is evenly spaced and measured, etc. Also check for any gaps. For example, here. See how this slips out? That's the fabric telling me that it wants a dart. So just flatten it. Again, you're sculpting, you're, you're seeing it, and you're doing it your own way. So in my case, my bra or bathing suit top wants a dart here. So just fold it over. I'll actually be doing this in front of the mirror, but this is to give you an idea. Um, Put the pin in, and then when you sew it, you sew the dart in there. Of course, at the end, when I'm all finished with this, I can get rid of this black thing. I'm just using it now to keep it on me while I sculpt. But at the end, you can snip that off and sew in the hooks and etc. This is the way to do it. Zigzag. Zigzag to the point where you want to. Then, if the needle's up, make sure it goes in. So stick the needle in. Leave the needle in. Lift the presser foot. This is so you don't lose your, sp your spot. Turn it around. And now we're going to zigzag back the other way. When you're sewing your bra, make sure you keep the straps out of the way. Or something like this might happen. The seam ripper is sort of like a sharp little knife here. So this is what you use to slice through the thread. I don't know if I've ever explained that before. Use your imagination to come up with your own unique design. For example, here's one that I did in black earlier. Uh, for the closure, what I did was, remember those, here's the thing, uh, remember the cord that was there? Instead of cutting it off and putting a hook in, I decided to just loop the cord that was hanging there, and then I put a long string on the other side, see, and then you just cinch it to wherever you want it. In other cases, other bras I've made, I've used this sort of suspender elastic. It's very thick. As you know, for support bras, nice thick straps are comfortable, are what make it more comfortable. Here I've sewn on one of those bra hooks, and on the other side, I just cut off the strap from a bra, from an old bra. Here we have this then. It's just like attaching a regular bra. You're hooking it. I'm probably going to change these black ties. I'll cut them off and sew in some blue ones, matching blue ties, because it's like an extra gives an extra good closure when you have the ties. A little extra. So this could be a bra or a bathing suit. Send me pictures and videos of your creations. Thanks for watching.